All right. Welcome, everybody. Um, my name is Lynn Tim, and I'm Vice President of Sales for North American Insurance Services. And I've been an agent with North American for 10 years. Um, I'm an independent agent as well as have a leadership role with North American as VP of Sales in charge of uh, Pivot and some under 65 health insurance. So welcome. Um, when we get to the end of this presentation, feel free to ask any questions. And I'm sorry, I can't see everybody's, I can't see myself on screen or see who's on the call, so I apologize. Uh, but I'm just going to go go ahead and get started. So today we're going to talk about uh, really stacking is is the the subject, and that's something that I've done a lot of. So um, I've started selling under sixty five health insurance in 2017 when uh, alternative plans such as indemnity. Uh, really hit the market. So um, one of the things I learned is, you know, with an alternative to ACA or marketplace plans, it's really important that you uh, stack on additional coverage. And, you know, that is mainly to protect your client um, against the out-of-pocket costs that can occur with these alternative plans. Um, and, you know, the silver lining is you make a lot more money. It can really double your income. Uh, most of the commissions are higher on these ancillary products such as critical illness and accident and dental. So uh, by stacking, you greatly increase your income as well as give your client much better protection. All right, so, um, you know, one of the ways to increase your business and increase your income is to, you know, generate a lot of inbound marketing. And I've been doing this for 10 years and pretty much most of my business is, you know, from referral or from the social media marketing or marketing tools that I have in place. So that's, you know, that's where you want to be. I don't know, you know, how long all of you have been, uh, in the business and what love, you know, what, um, you know, stage you are in your career. But, um, you know, ideally, you want to get to where you're not going to have to do a ton of marketing and the phone's going to ring and you're going to get emails and inquiries all the time. So that's the goal. And, you know, this pivot lead program is part of uh, helping, you know, build your business and get you some clients to start, but it's not going to be enough to, you know, um, pay all your bills and uh, you're, you know, you're going to need more than more than that. So today I really wanted to talk about things to hopefully that you can incorporate to help grow your business. So, um, you know, inbound marketing is the most efficient and effective way because it doesn't, you know, necessarily cost you a whole lot. Um, it does take some time. Um, one of the things you can do is uh, use value added content that gives you credibility and it doesn't cost anything. So that's something you can incorporate into your social media. Uh, it's important to find who you are and what you stand for. Um, you know, whether you're focusing on short term medical or under 65 or this is part of, you know, Medicare, your your Medicare marketing, um, you know, explain what you do and what you can do for people and 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 how you can be a resource for them. Um, and as we said, inbound marketing requires constant and consistent uh, you know, some funding, uh, but there's also many tools that are very inexpensive or no cost. All right, so it's important to know who's your tar target audience. So for me, uh, I came from a financial advisor background, so that that is kind of where I started when I built my business. A lot of uh, the financial advisors that I worked for knew me, and they did not want to do Medicare. They didn't want to talk about Medicare. They didn't want, 
uh, do any of that. They didn't want to do under 65 insurance plans. So um, that was a natural audience for me uh, where I had credibility and they were happy to refer their clients to me and just knew you know, all they cared about is that their clients were being taken care of. So who's your target audience? I mean, do you come from a nursing background? Do you come from a teaching background? Did you own your own business? Um, you know, did you, you know, we have people from all sorts of different backgrounds that go into this industry and into this business, and it's a great business. So think about the people you know, who's your center of influence, and how do you best target them? So one of the first steps is to set up a Facebook business page. There is no cost to this, and it's actually pretty user friendly. I'm not the, the most technically capable person in the world. I know enough to be dangerous, but I was able to set up my Facebook page, uh, actually several, uh, you know, pretty easily by myself. And, you know, I dabbled in trying some marketing through Facebook and found that it was, you know, for me, it was very expensive and I didn't really feel like I was getting the results, um, you know, by actually paying to do some Facebook marketing and advertising. Um, you know, what I did find is that I got better results from my personal Facebook page. However, um, you know, I connected the two and tagged the two as much as I could. So people knew that, you know, I was legitimate. So um, people that uh, were friends with me on Facebook, if I mentioned something about, you know, there's a deadline coming up for uh, annual enrollment period, then, you know, they could al also go to my Facebook page and get more information about me and see that I was legitimately um, a business but pretty easy to do this. Um, and value added content. So this is great. And I feel like when I um, when I have friends on Facebook that have businesses and all they do is talk about their business on their personal page, eventually I get tired of that. Um, yeah, I know what they do. And if I need them, you know, I know where to find them. But, um, you know, just telling people, oh, I've got some great plans or, you know, whatever, um, you know, I, I try not to be too salesy. I mean, what I try to do is uh, explain, you know, how I'm an expert, how I've helped people save money. Um, I want to drive people to my website and there's lots of news, right? So um, one of the uh, things that I learned about recently is setting up a Google alert, uh, which I can do um, just, you know, through my Gmail address. And once a week, I get uh, all the news <laughs> out there about health insurance and under 65. And I can pick and choose what I want and post that and share it on my Facebook and other social media pages. So that that doesn't cost anything. And I try to find articles that are interesting that, um, you know, affect all of us. So, you know, we always want to address a concern, you know, what are the costs of cancer, and the ambulance ride, things like that, um, that everybody can relate to. Um, one of the agents that we've worked with at North American, Jackie Walter, she's up in the Northeast. Um, she's really great at social media. And I love her post because she really mixes a lot of business and, and informational posts, um, as well as very um, personal posts about her family. And, you know, you can do this as much as you feel comfortable with, but she has five kids and uh, she's a, a working mom and, and she's got a great story. And uh, she also promotes lots of people in her in her community and shares, you know, information about their businesses. So she's very, um, very generous in how she uses her page and she shares a lot. She's, uh, you know, you know, she's obviously proud of her kids, but sometimes her posts are very self-deprecating type of humor. 
And I think that makes her very relatable. So, you know, you want you want to show that you're a human and, uh, you know, you're dealing with a lot of the same things uh, that other people are as well. Um, this was a post that I used uh, when I first did my Instagram page and I just found this online. It was free, but I. I love it. And I thought it was hysterical. And at the time, everybody was watching Breaking Bad and, you know, kind of knew the story. So um, I, I thought it was pretty funny, but I got a lot of likes and uh, comments of whenever I've used this post. Another relatively now that now this is this can cost some money to do a newsletter. And there's lots of different ways to do it, Con, you know, constant contact, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, MailChimp. Um, some CRMs are, are set up to you know, generate newsletters. I have a Canva account, which is not too, too expensive, but I can use that to create um, lots of, uh, I can use it for newsletter templates and uh, email templates and there's lots of ways that you can use CRMs to um, connect and communicate with your clients. Um, you know, one thing you want to do is just always stay top of mind with them because as you're building your book of business, you want to retain it. You don't want to get a new client and then lose a client. So it's really important to stay in touch with your clients even when you get to the point where you can't you know, make calls to them every year to just check in. Uh, you know, you've got to start using some tools that help automate your client uh, communication. And I use my newsletter uh, as a cross-selling opportunity where I can talk about new products, um, testimonials, you know, uh, insurance news, things like that. And then I'll throw in a little bit of personal stuff. I For a while, I was putting a recipe in there um, and, you know, you just try to find something interesting that your clients will connect with. Um, provider marketing. So this is inexpensive. All of us have doctors and this is a good place to start if you're new to the business. Hopefully you have a relationship with a doctor or two or three and they know who you are and you can tell them what you do. And uh, talk with the front desk, talk with their nurse, uh, put a, a, a flyer together. Like I have a rack card that I have at all of my doctor's offices and I know they're nurses. And when I go visit them, you know, they're handing out my card. I have people calling me all the time from my doctor's offices. And that's, you know, that is guaranteed money because if your doctor refers someone to you, then, you know, the trust level is extremely high. And so, um, you know, that is a great referral. So, if it, you know, if your doctor is sending you lots of leads, take a luncheon for the staff or take some cookies or take some donuts, whatever you like. Um, also, you know, you can do um, promotional items, pens and um you know, just fun little stuff that you can drop off every every now and then to um, help solidify your relationship. Asking for testimonials. So uh, you can have links to your Google. Um, you can have links to your Facebook and ask people to uh, give give you a testimonial that you can use and rate you, you know, depending on, you know, how many uh, different social media tools you're using. But uh, it's really important now to, to make sure that you have some testimonials so people know what you can do and know that you're legitimate and, uh, and feel comfortable about using you. Uh, Calendly, this is something I use. Um, I have it in my signature on all my emails and it makes it easy for clients to schedule. And uh, I'll just send them the link. You can text them the link, and it's real easy for them to get on your calendar. And Calendly is 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 really inexpensive. Uh, automation is a great tool, so we want to make sure that um, on all the carriers you represent, many of them now have self quote and enroll tools. 
not all that, um, you know, take advantage of those that do. And uh, some carriers even have pre-done ads uh, and where the client can quote and enroll. And uh, that, you know, makes it really easy. You can hire a social media marketing person. The person that I use helps me with my newsletter and I have the tools in place and tell her what I want and she creates it, makes it look good, and she handles getting it done through my CRM and my MailChimp account. So um, that's pretty inexpensive and I don't even do it as much as I should, but if I can get that out every quarter, then that just helps me stay in touch with my clients. And I always get business whenever I send out my newsletter. So what are some of the other reasons? Um, obviously, you want to make money. So uh, stacking is what we're going to talk about next. So how do you start the conversation? Um, you know, I think one of the things I always do is I ask, have you or any family members had to deal with cancer or other catastrophic events? Most people have somebody, if not themselves, that has had cancer um, and knows how expensive it can be, you know, from maybe needing to go out of state for a treatment or um, have a go go somewhere for a clinical trial. Um, you know, that involves taking time off work, uh, it involves uh, getting a hotel or an Airbnb, um, taking someone with you. There's lots of costs involved that uh, are other than just the actual medical costs, um, especially when you're talking about cancer. So, um, you know, the, the prescription costs can be very high. So um, most people have had somebody in their family. I mean, the statistics are pretty astounding. Uh, one in three, you know, I believe one in three men um, will deal with some sort of cancer in their life. And it's either one out of three or one out of two women. So, um, pretty daunting statistics. And, you know, you can ask, you know, how would you, how would you meet that deductible? Or how would you, you know, what would happen to you financially if you or, you know, one of your loved ones got cancer? So it's good to kind of start the conversation and then explain that you have a very inexpensive solution. And I'll show you kind of as we get to the end of this, what I do with my clients. Um, this was a Dateline NBC report, and it showed that the average out-of-pocket costs for first-time cancer patients with health insurance is forty thousand dollars. That's pretty. Um, that's that's a lot to to many people. And you know, if that happened to you, do you have forty thousand dollars that you could tap into to make sure that you get the treatment you want? And again, more statistics that illness and medical bills contributed to more than 62% of all bankruptcies. And those are people that had health insurance. That's pretty, pretty scary. So this is, this is just a, a simple template that I use um, to uh, give with my uh, health insurance proposals. So, um, it includes short-term medical indemnity, dental vision, uh, critical illness and accident. And so this, these are actual numbers of a client, um, both of them age 42 in Texas. And what I did is I mixed indemnity with uh, pivot short-term medical. And so um, I'm gonna start with the short-term medical. These should actually be reversed, but Basically, you look at short-term medical is going to be the base. And in Texas, uh, we have the term length of three years. And what I like about the pivot short-term medical plans is if it's one of the companion plans, then they will lock in that premium for the term length. So if you're in a state that has a three-year duration or two-year duration, you can lock in their rate, you know, for the, the those entire durations. And that's 
you know, that's pretty important to people to not have those big rate increases. So this is a quote for a couple uh, for a term length of three years and the pivot economy with a 5,000 deductible and, and a $1 million max uh, benefit, um, $463, so pretty inexpensive. And with that, I've added the Manhattan Life Affordable Choice Classic, the least expensive indemnity plan with Manhattan Life. That's $221. And then I've added on critical illness cancer plan. And this is this is a bit of an average because there's you know different critical illness and cancer plans with Manhattan Life, or if there's others that you want to use, or if you want to do the latitude plan, uh, if that's available when you're quoting pivot, definitely that one's a lot of bang for the buck. Um, but I just put you know, so this is kind of a, an average cost for a couple for a decent critical illness plan, $80. And then I put on an accident plan again, you know, I'm just kind of putting an average cost here, $60. Um, I didn't include the out-of-pocket protector, but that's a great inexpensive product that, um, you know, can be used maybe if they don't want to do the indemnity plan or don't have the money for that adding on out-of-pocket protector can be real inexpensive. Um, dental vision plan, $90. And so that's a grand total of $914. And keep in mind, I, I realize that not everybody can afford that. That might not work for the budget. But a lot of these clients that we're dealing with their, that are in their 40s and 50s and 60s, they're higher income individuals that don't want a marketplace plan. So um, you know, a marketplace plan might be fifteen hundred to two thousand. So, you know, nine hundred fourteen. Keep in mind, it you know it depends on your client. But I just kind of wanted to show you the numbers of how this can greatly increase your income. So, the average monthly commission on a stack like this is going to run about two seventy five. And what I do is I average about it's about thirty percent. When you add in all the ancillary, it averages out. So, um, you know, don't hold my feet to the fire on the exact numbers, but this is kind of an average of what you could expect to make on a sale of this size using these type of products. So um, around $275 a month. And uh, so, you know, not bad for one sale. All right, and the last thing I'm gonna talk about is our agent conference um, coming up in July the 15th and 16th. It's gonna be in Frisco, Texas, and it's gonna be at the Star in Frisco, which is the training facility and event facility for the Dallas Cowboys. And we have um, awesome rooms available at the Omni, but there's other hotels uh, around the complex within walking distance that are pretty affordable. Um, your ticket includes all of your food and we have really nice meals, happy hours, breakfast, and uh, you know, two days of great speakers, great meals, great networking. And uh, I hope if you're not signed up for this, you will uh, consider it. I've got my email here. And if you're interested in this and if you commit to it by March 31st, I will make sure you get a special deal on this on the VIP ticket. So if anybody is interested, um, just shoot me an email and I'll uh, get you more information on it. Um, and I'll just say one more thing. Uh, if you are not part of our NAIS agent group, it's a closed group on Facebook. And I've got a screenshot here of, of what it looks like. But please join us. Uh, in this page, it's as I said, it's a closed group. It's a great place to ask questions and learn more about North American um, to talk amongst your you know, fellow agents and get quick answers to questions if you need them. We have lots of experts in this group on Medicare under 65 group insurance, um, you know, marketplace. So lots of really good resources in our group. Um, we also 
uh, keep everybody informed of what we've got going on, webinars and so forth. And that's all I have. So I'll open it up for questions. Does anybody have anything? All right. Oh, yes. Yes. I, hi, this is Terry Nishan from Las Vegas. Um, I have a question. Where can we find that stack template on online? Like, where can we go to kind of have a look at that? Or how do you know with all of your stack products? Is 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 there a place that we can get that? Um. Well, that's the one that I use personally, but I am happy to share okay. that with you. So if you okay. will just send me an email at that ltim at na-insurance.com, I'm okay. happy to, to share that with you. And it's fillable. So all you need to do, if, if you want to use it, I'm fine with that. Um, okay. Just, uh, you know, change out your, your logo and, and all of that. You can tweak it however you like. But um, okay. But yes, I'm happy to share that with you. Okay, perfect. Perfect. All, all I'll right. reach out to you later today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Anybody else have a question? Uh, hi, uh, Daniel from Lubbock, Texas. I hi, uh, got on that <laughs> Facebook group. Hello, uh, North American Insurance, and I joined. So now I just wait till someone approves me. Uh, yes, and it should be pretty quick. Um, I'll okay. I'll check on it after the call as well, and um, I think I I'm able to do that, but I'm not sure. If not, I'll get Priscilla, who's our administrator, to make sure you get in. Okay, thank you. Great, I'm glad you're going to join us, Daniel. Great. Anybody else have a question? All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody. I hope you have a great week. My email is right there. Please don't hesitate to reach out if there's anything I can do to help you. Bye now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.